Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Benoit Nemery, the Scientific Committee Chair of the European Respiratory Society. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, above all, the ERS is a scientific society, and so we wish to promote the very best science in respiratory medicine through the exchange of knowledge, not only here at the annual Congress, but also through the Lung Science Conference and research seminars outside the main Congress. We also effectively support science and research through our fellowship program, through task forces, through big and small research awards, and through various forms of sponsorship. And finally, we are also active in the dissemination of research findings through our publications and evidence-based guidelines. And these activities culminate in our annual Congress and the Programme Committee has assembled what we hope will be an interesting and well-balanced programme with symposia, hot topic sessions, interactive grand rounds and year in review sessions to update you on the latest discoveries and developments in respiratory medicine. We will also fill your lunch times with various interesting sessions, including for the first time presentations of ongoing EU research programs, hands-on practical sessions, and also the very first disclosures of the results of important clinical trials. However, a very important feature of the Congress is made up by the free communications which many of you will make. This year, we received an unprecedented number of abstracts, more than 5,400, and of these, about four out of five were accepted after careful and anonymous peer review by 368 reviewers and these free communications were then grouped by the ERS officers into oral sessions, electronic communication sessions and paper poster sessions at our very busy spring meeting in Zurich. In order to allow meritorious scientists and researchers from less affluent countries to attend the Congress and present their data, the ERS has sponsored more than 160 delegates. We're also very proud of our fellowship program, which allows young researchers from all over Europe and beyond to acquire skills and expertise in another country than their own. And in the past year, we awarded 14 one-year fellowships, including eight highly prestigious ERS Marie Curie fellowships that are co-funded by the European Union. We also supported 32 shorter fellowships of up to three months, as well as visits by senior experts. These are our most recent ERS fellows, and I invite you to meet them and exchange with them on Monday during lunchtime. Another great scientific activity that was already mentioned by our president is our yearly lung science conference. This is a much smaller meeting than this one. It's held in Estoril, Portugal, and approximately 200 junior and senior researchers convene to discuss the most advanced aspects of experimental research in respiratory medicine. 
and the deadline for submitting abstracts and applying for bursaries is the 31st of October. Let me now also thank you all who have contributed and will contribute further to the success of this Congress. The scientific committee with the 11 assembly heads, the ERS officers, and the many speakers and chairpersons, and above you, ab above, above all, you the participants. And although this Congress has not even begun, I wish to invite you all to next year's Congress in Barcelona. Thank you.